It is the first week of the NBA playoffs, and this is game two of the best of five first round action, and the Celtics will try to make it two in a row over the Bulls before the 262nd consecutive sellout in Boston Garden. Looking at the Eastern Conference playoff fight, Atlanta already has a two to nothing lead. Milwaukee will try for two in a row against New Jersey later today. And Philadelphia will try to rebound from a stunning loss to Washington on Friday night. And hello again, everyone. I'm Dick Stockton, and welcome to the NBA on CBS. Well, the Boston Celtics won more games than anyone this year in the league. They had the biggest winning streak at 14. They have won more championships, as everyone knows, at 15. But perhaps the most impressive number was their fantastic and astounding home Home court record 40 and 1 and 31 consecutive games to finish the season in the regular year and then they beat Chicago in the first game. Tommy Heinsohn will be inducted into the Basketball's Hall of Fame on May the 6th who played for the Boston Celtics on this very floor. This team apparently has no weaknesses. Is that true? They have a very strong inside game Dick. Multiple low post players Robert Parrish, Kevin McHale, Bill Walton, Larry Bird. Very difficult to stop. Timely defense, team defense, the best kind. So they're very difficult to stop outside shooting. They've got it all. Now the Chicago Bulls with over 50 losses, 52 to be exact, the worst record of any team in the playoffs, but they have a good excuse. They never really found an identity this year. All kinds of injuries, suspensions. Michael Jordan, the biggest one. He went down with a broken left foot on the third game of the year, missed three quarters of the season. But did he light up this place on Thursday night with a brilliant 49-point effort? Jordan, is he single-handed for Chicago? What's the story there? Too much for one man to try and beat the Boston Celtics. Other players have to get involved. Michael Jordan scored half their points in the first half on, on the other night, and they end up two points down. That's astounding. But it's too draining an experience, and they must put pressure on the other Celtic defenders by getting the likes of Dave Corazine, uh, Kyle Macy involved, as well as Orlando Woolridge. All right, so that's the story right here, and Pat O'Brien is with the man who lit up the place, Michael Jordan. Thank you, Dick. Michael just got a nice round of applause here. The question is, can one man beat the Lakers, or do you need a more diversified attack today? Well, we're playing the Boston Celtics, Pat, but... Uh, I think it's going to be more of a five-man game, and uh, we really have to play a complete basketball game. I, I don't think one man can beat the Boston Celtics. It's hard to imagine that six weeks ago you were sitting on the bench. Yes, yeah, it, it is. It's very hard for me to imagine. I'm very happy I'm, I'm playing now, and I'm very happy I can contribute to the team. All right, thank you. Good luck today. You don't have to remind me again that you are playing the Boston Celtics. Air Jordan's getting ready to take off. The problem is the runway is in Boston, so strap yourselves in. This is the NBA on CBS. 